No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you'd better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
giving up. Val says you gotta eat dirt. to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Find it. 
I'll bet we find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangement, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about her son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I will. But once this threat to Meridian is dealt with, another one looms. We have to talk about the Eclipse. We will. I promise. A moment of your time, Outlander? That must be the spire. It's huge. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs.
That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Part, a booby trap will set it off. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Uh, so, is, uh, is, is that thing gonna go off? like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said away. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Derval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable shot? Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! Ugh, these Osra merchants are going to... What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like Everyone that Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, arrested too let's for talk it over. Conduct last night. There's no smoke no rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled Durval did find a way into the palace. 
Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh, Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Die! You're starting. <laughs> Why does a vibe lay to the fighting? Yes. I've got a sun god to kill. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a sick job to kill. Why does Avad always have his lady? Ah! I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Does a Vod always have his ladies do the fight? Can we finish this? I've got a found out to kill. I've led an army. Girls and ravagers. A savage is nothing. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Come on, then.
I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. <sighs> to do it for you. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa, all on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. 
So, after all this, what's next for Errand Vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I hate to tell you this after everything you've been through, but there's another fight brewing and I need your help. Helis and his fanatics are coming from Iridian. Well, no rest for the weary, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll be there for you. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. Avad, stop. There's something urgent we have to- I know, but please, just listen for a moment. I want you to stay in Meridian. What? Why? Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, uh, capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Let me get this straight. Your warrior princess is barely cold in her grave, and you're lining me up to take her place? W what? No, son in shadow, that's not what I meant. All right, I, I can see how my choice of words came off as presumptuous, but I meant no disrespect. By the sun, this is not how I imagined this conversation would go. Let's just forget this ever happened. You had something urgent to discuss? What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asuran devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Were you and Ursa... you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt... about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osiram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Helis is preparing to attack Meridian. It could come at any time. By the sun. Wait a moment. I want Murad to hear this. 
Aloy, the Sun King tells me that you bring grave news. Please, tell us what you know. The Eclipse will attack soon, from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly better. An enemy city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Huh. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. 
Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. It's always the ones you least expect to cause. I don't want to think about what would have happened without you there to save the Sun King. It rises taller than the highest tree. Please come. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the Metal Devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the Sacred Land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a Metal Devil, because the Goddess says. Or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? 
Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Only if we win. Pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! <laughs> Set loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! Will the guns hold them back? Who's it? 
not meant to be. you because you're a fool. A sadistic butcher too stupid to see you were being used. Your whole life was a failure. And soon, no one will even remember you. Turn your face to the sun and think about that. Meat.
these arms again. West. Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. Sunset for this one.
Hades has started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. Amora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance.
entity. Don't let them mob you, Aloy. Okay. Last one down, for now. We are life takers and machine breakers all.
way is clear. The Deathbringer falls. The battle is ours. System threat imminent. Master Override Armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department and after she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? 
I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable, even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. friend remember me we've still so much to discuss so much you never revealed your masters for example the ones who sent the signal that woke you knowledge has its rewards don't you think well let's begin <laughs> 